At their most basic, we use numbers such as 3, 10, 101, 784, and 2016 for counting. How many states are in the United States? 50. How many letters are in the word red? 3. How many tires are on a car? 4. These counting numbers are called cardinal numbers. Without them, we couldn't describe to each other how many of something we have or can see. That's great, but what if we need to describe the order of items? Let's say there's a race between Joe, Sue, and Bob. You want to know in what order they finished. Suddenly, our cardinal numbers fail us because we're not asking how many runners there are. We're asking for what order they finished in. This is where ordinal numbers, or ordering numbers, come in. Notice that the word ordinal is similar to the word order, and that they, in fact, share the same first three letters. If Bob won the race, we'd say that he finished the race first. This ordinal number corresponds with the cardinal number 1. The difference is that 1 tells us that there's a single item in a set. First tells us that an item is in the lead position in an ordered set of items. Because first corresponds to 1, we can also write it like this. 